Hello, my name is Ray Tristani. I am the owner of Tristani Guitars and Ukuleles. I would like to welcome you to this course and to my shop. If you're in the process of building a guitar, we make use of many different types of joinery. Joinery between braces and backs and soundboards, sides to soundboards, necks to bodies, and, without exception, headstocks to next shafts. During this course, we will be covering the construction of a very special type of joint between a headstock and the neck shaft called the bird's beak joint. This is a type of joinery that was most commonly used on vintage Martin guitars. As a guitar maker, I am very interested in all aspects of the guitar, especially its history. While doing some of this research, I ran into a book called Inventing the American Guitar. This book is filled with many samples of the bird's beak joint as implemented by the Martin Company through the years. While digging around some more, I found a website by John Graben. In his website, you will find a demo organized in slides on his approach to the bird's beak joint. Stitching two and two together, I took information from his site and from historical sources as well, and I came up with a process that will allow me to build a neck that incorporates this type of joinery from beginning to end. Implementing or employing this type of joinery does require some planning ahead of time. It is for this reason that before I even approach building a neck, I create myself a list of steps, small repeatable chunks of work that I can repeat over and over again with a high degree of accuracy. This in turn, makes the work and the approach to it much simpler. As we progress through this course, you will see me selecting woods, milling them, making accurate layouts, repeated cuts, shaping, routing. It is very important that if we want to achieve repeatability with a good degree of accuracy, that we must make use of jigs. For this purpose, I will be introducing two jigs one of which is also explained in John Graven's website in his demo. You will also see me make use of very specialized jigs. For example, for this course, I have chosen to use a routing fixture that will help me shape the neck. For many years, I performed this operation manually. I still do it by hand. However, I would like to remove as many variables and error-prone processes out of the equation in order to achieve the most accurate results possible. This is just one of many small little steps that will allow me to go from raw stock all the way to a completed neck that incorporates the bird's beak joint. We will still make use of a variety of hand tools. As for power tools, we will use a routing table, a bandsaw, and a router. You may also choose to use table saws, drum sanders if you have them available to you, and spindle sanders, again, if they are available to you. Any of these steps can be achieved manually. It is my hope that you find all of the information that you will find on this course both helpful and useful, and that you are able to incorporate this technique into your own builds. So, with that all said, Sharpen up your tools. Let's go make some sawdust and see you there.